Alright you guys, so it's Motivational Monday and today we're taking notes on knowing your worth and putting tax on it. And when I say know your worth and put tax on it, I'm talking about the working industry and you know the same thing with your friends, with your spouse or whatever and stuff like that. Know your worth, know what you can deal with and know what you can, you know, not deal with. But we're focusing on the salary, the hourly and the entrepreneurship. So I know you guys heard this all the time, but let's first get into salary. Knowing your worth and putting tax on it. I know oftentimes we're scared to say the number that we really want when we go in for that job interview, but don't be scared of that anymore. Say your number, always outbid yourself. If you know you're good with 25 an hour, when you go into the interview and you write on that paper, put 28, the worst they can tell you is no. Know your worth and put tax on it. And also, I, being a former director, know that we are capable of paying you more. But if you come in all humble and like, oh, you know what, um, what do you pay or whatever, we set the bar. So now all you have to do is reject. If you set the bar and me personally, if you come in well-groomed, articulating yourself well, looking like you about to sell this business or give me some delivery and as far as services, guess what? When I got to go up to the higher ups, I'm going to be like, I want to give this person a shot. I mean, you got 90 days probation. So for me, <laughs> if you're not doing your job, I'm going to get you out of there. But if you sell yourself and this is what you're asking for, this is what's on the paper and I'm reading it and I'm trying to get recruit, then you know what? I'm going to send it higher up. And another thing that we won't tell you is usually when jobs are hiring and they are asking for you, we need you. I remember being desperate for new candidates at work, but I mean, I can't tell you that. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, you know, I see that you want this amount. Could you tell me why your experience, this, that, and the third? Sell yourself, sell yourself. Now, I know some of you are thinking like, look, I just need a job. I got stuff to take care of. If you need that, then by any means, definitely do that. But this is for the people who have the cushion of the parents who, you know, want you to have the best, explain to them why you're asking for this dollar amount and how you want that job. This is for the person who has the spouse that is understanding that's giving you leeway to kind of find your way and do your thing explain to them that you're not leaving the house from your children or you're not leaving the house from other things that you want to achieve unless there's this dollar amount that you can obtain so having that backbone or having that support is key if you don't have that support i mean by any means go get your job and do what you got to do but save make sure you're saving you know, I did a video on that. I'll attach it in the Instagram. But make sure that you're saving. But definitely don't sell yourself short. On the road to entrepreneurship, make sure that you are saying your price and setting your price. I know often sometimes in entrepreneurship, you want to, you know, give the discounts. For me, I'm very personal. I do do home daycare and I only give discounts to my friends. Some of my friends can get stuff for free 99. And when I say friends, I mean, you probably were on the side of me at my wedding. Like it's deep, like it's real. So I feel like free 99 is best for them because the more that they can progress, I feel like the more I can progress. Now, I'm not saying you can give every friend something free and every friend isn't a friend. You have some associates and that does not count. I need you to be breaking blood and tears and crying with me for me to say all right i'm gonna give you my services for free 99 and then for those friends that you know you got stuff to do you got bills to take care of you could tell them you could the best i can give you is half price maybe 10 percent off maybe 20 percent off it depends on you remember you're knowing your worth and you are taxing it so i'm just saying for me my courtesy is usually to my friends but for entrepreneurship, set your price. The people who love your work, who want your work, they're going to try to save up to get your work or they're going to try to save up to learn how to do your work, whatever the case may be. And you are inspiring them. So entrepreneurship can be very rewarding and it can be very hard. And it can be very tough. I'm in the mix of trying to figure out home daycare because as working under you know a daycare being the director and running someone else's business i'm out of work right now because of you know someone else being over me but i feel like if i work for myself in some sort of way then i can obtain you know room to maneuver and do things my way so when you sell yourself 
you kind of get what you want. I feel like jobs often keep you, I mean, I guess in a box is what I'm saying. They keep you in a box by basically saying, oh, you know, we're rewarding you with these um, three weeks vacation, paid sick time, blah, 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 or whatever. But are they really rewarding you? I don't think so. So sometimes you got to see exactly what you can and cannot do because that's where they try to get you. Because if you can get the next job and get more money and level up that way, then that's what you got to do. I feel like for me, I spent a lot of time at, um, I want to say it was like my second serious job, good salary, definitely paid the bills, did some, where was able to save, but I was there for seven years. And then that business closed and I was going into you know, the workforce trying to look for another job. And I was thinking like, you know, I got a lot of stuff to take care of. And I was trying to get, you know, to the top dollar. And I'm like, you know what? I do need a job. I got the unemployment coming in. I do need a job. So should I just take the first thing that comes to me or should I set a salary and say, I'm not leaving the house until I get that salary. And I chose to take that step because I mean, I had a savings again, always have a cushion. If you don't got a cushion, I mean, you got to do what you got to do. But I had a cushion and I was like, you know what? I need to make sure that this salary is right. I need to make sure that I'm able to save more. I'm able to do this or, you know, just be comfortable or because I didn't want to get comfortable being uncomfortable. So I wanted a great salary, a salary that could definitely do things. And I'm like, I'm not leaving until I get this salary. And then I was like, all right, all right, nope, can't take that, can't take that, that's not it. And then it got to the point that, you know, unemployment was getting close to ending and you got to have some type of income coming in. But remember, I told you in one Motivational Monday, faith and work go hands in hands. And I tell you, it was one month left to my unemployment running out and, you know, you have to tap into the savings, this, that, and the third. And God was like, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. I had three job opportunities above the salary that I was trying to get. And I was like, okay. So I kept the faith and then look at that. And I kept the patience and I got the salary that I wanted. I set the bar for myself. I put tax on it and I ended up getting a good job and working through it. And then the pandemic came and wreaked havoc, but I had already done my work to, you know, be okay. So know your worth, put tax on it and don't be scared to say no. But I'm not saying quit your job. I'm not saying walk away from your job. I'm saying make smart decisions and make sure you know your worth and put tax on it. Don't be scared to ask for what you want. Often we are scared of rejection and in this game of life, that is going to happen. We're going to have rejection. We're scared of being judged. We're scared of being vulnerable. But just take the chance. I'm not saying you're always going to get what you want, but know your worth, put tax on it and take the chance. And yeah, thank you guys for taking notes with me.